What is up, you bunch of damn plumbers? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to another Next Gen Diecast review provided by my good friends at Circle B Diecast. Go on to make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get $5 off of shipping. Otherwise, you are probably not going to save yourself a plunger full of money for Diecast. But today, it's going to be on the Diecast review, as that was a really bad uh, joke on. A card that I think a lot of people would probably recommend have to get because if you like this certain type of paint scheme and color scheme I'll show you, this is the only way you can get it, my friends. So, the choice is yours. Today, it is on Brad Kozlowski's, and no, for the love of God, how many times I got to say this? I know this joke is dead, but I don't give a fuck. Brad Kozlowski did not want this race. This is on his 2022 uh, Solomon Plumbing um, Bristol Dirt Raced version for Mustang for um, RFK Racing. Now, yeah, I know you're probably wondering, what? But Brad Kozlowski did not win this race. Again, that's what I said. But this is a very unique car, as you can see. This is not only, you know, the first time we got a new sponsor like Solomon Plumbing. We'll get to those, uh, those suckers in a second. But they could be the reason why we have this diecast with us. But anyways, let's go and kick off the Skycast review the official unboxing of the Brad Kozlowski 2022 Solomon Plumbing Raced Version Bristol Dirt Car. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of this box. And yeah, as you guys can tell, this is a pretty special scheme that we got going on for uh, the all the boys and girls at RFK. And uh, one cool thing that's about this diecast that makes it pretty expensive, as my camera's having weird zooming issues today. Good lord, I might need a plumber for that. But uh, this is the foil number. I mean, as you can see right there, that looks pretty cool. I mean, even though we got a little bubble right there, another bubble right there, another bubble right there. But hey, this is what you get for the 2 or $3 extra. By the way, these cars are going to be $13 now if you want foil numbers. So just saying. Just saying. But isn't that cool how it just reflects in the light? Like, whoo, look at that. Anyways. As I'm now uh, getting in, and uh, I, I should probably go in and get re get to back to the rest of this review before I go into a much more euphoric state. Um, yeah, this is a diecast that I really did not think was going to get made at all. Like usually, especially for a Bristol Dirt uh, version, like that's pretty cool. I'm hoping this is going to give people some ideas. Well, hopefully, one idea is not to have a paint chip where the splitter is. Good Lord, Lionel, that is a uh, that is a uh, that's hot. <laughs> but for real, guys, that looks awful. Um, but just especially look at that man it does that look really cool you got the scuff mark where the foil number is that is really freaking cool that they add that scuff right there um Kozlowski had some issues that came that was at this race but game back was trying to say as i'm showing you guys 360 view of this as good lord the b pillar is literally peeling off good lord <laughs> good lord you call that a paint wrap yeah right <laughs> More like a shit paint job good lord but I'm sorry, I, I'm in a line of roasting uh, mood right now, so. <laughs> um, this video is so off topic and so sidetracked, but I guess that's what makes me different about these types of videos, right? But anyways, I was trying to say is just, just look at the scuff and then listen to my nice soothing voice. Um, this car is just random, so random. I did not think we were going to get a Bristol Dirt version, but we did. And usually how things work like that is that usually you'll have the winner. And then you'll have Chase Elliott because, heck, Chase, I mean, I don't got a problem with it. I mean, Chase Elliott diecast always sell. But this, I think the sponsor, Solomon Plumbing, I mean, um, just like the, I, 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 hey, I wonder if this is the old dude from freaking uh, GTA 5, you know? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I, that might be that one mission where that one bitch, like, I don't know, like, t takes one of his movies and then she gets uh, sucked in a plane engine or something. She's like, she's like, help me. That guy's trying to kill me. And then, zoop. That bitch turns into a meat grinder. Anyways, <laughs> so you can tell I definitely uh, have no life. I've just been playing GTA 5 throughout my childhood. But um, I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Solomon and he th just the old guy from freaking um, from GTA 5. But anyways, get back to the diecast, guys. This is a really cool detailed diecast. You can see this thing is quite dirty, and I definitely mean dirty. All right, we're keeping this in the diecast forms. This thing has so much smear marks and dirt all over it. It makes the Chase Elliott car. I mean, the Chase Elliott car is cool, but this is like, compared to the Chase Elliott car, the, the, this one has like more smears to it, more than the the, the the chunks of dirt that we had on Elliott's car. And I believe this car actually finished 11th as well. And is my forehead mistaken me, or is that decal just a little overlapped right there with the splitters? Definitely kind of looks like it. But hey, what more can I expect from these fine folks at Lionel? They see there's those nice little gun metal rims. Looks really cool. The full number, Solomon. More dirt and scuff marks on that side skirt. And all sorts of cool shit. I'm trying to give you guys more closer uh, lookups at these race wind diecasts. Because you don't really know until you see it on the video. You see fast stall and collar generators. That's cool. But uh, some more dirt and scuff marks right there. I mean, I think well, like most of these scuff marks and dirt came uh, from 
Well, yeah, it, it, most of the dirt came from the track, you dipshit. <laughs> but I think I, I think what was I think Kozlowski got into it probably like an incident with Austin Dillon, if I'm not mistaken. I think that probably explains why. I don't know if it was this side, or the other side. Good lord, I didn't even realize that freaking gap on the window. Good lord almighty. <laughs> And uh, I already showed this side, but heck, you know, just in case you guys uh, didn't solve this part of the video yet, then uh, you will see this, as I think this side looks pretty much the coolest. Can I just show the rest of the video with this? But I have to do the side-by-side -side comparison because there are so many Kazowski diecasts that came out. And to show you guys how different this car is, I'm showing you guys what a clean RFK car should probably look like. Um, and this pretty much kind of has the same color scheme, just a little bit. Um, I don't even know what Solomon Plumbing is. And you're probably also wondering, like, what is up with the sponsor? Why is it so pushed up far? Uh, I thought I got, like, a bad uh, error on my car. Because see right there, it's not perfectly centered. Well, I think they did that so because these little hood vents right here, they kind of, like... Um, they look like they're taped up or, I don't know, they look a lot more different. That they're, they're a lot more bigger and wider than um, than these. So, um, yeah, I, I I definitely must say that the, the, the sponsor definitely looks wonky. It kind of looks like uh, what Stenhouse did with his uh, Kroger diecast last year. But um, that is actually how it is on the car. I mean, as goofy as that looks, I mean, yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> missed opportunity for some sponsorship down there. But besides that, I think this diecast is still worth getting, um, even though this diecast is so cluttered and chaotic. But whatever, though, it is what it is. Um, but you see, I mean... This is the reason why I do the stop tag comparisons. You can just see just how dirty these this uh, the race win is, and just by the color of the green alone. Um, and I didn't even notice as well, guys. There's also a gradient right here, which looks pretty cool. Uh, Lionel's getting better with the gradients. Whoa! As soon as I say that, look at it. there's a freaking uh, fold right there where the Solomon and Plumbing logo is. Oh, you bastards! Never change. Made in China. That explains a lot. As, uh, yeah, there is Sabbath Zach comparison, as I had to get that nice little mini rant out for you guys, because I know we're due in for another one very soon. But anyways, like I said, the choice is yours whenever you pick up these die casts. I'm not forcing you guys to buy every single one, because, heck, these little things are starting to get expensive now, so... Hopefully this review is helping you guys out and choose wisely, but this is going to wrap up the diecast review of Brad Kozlowski's. I'm showing the good side. Um, 2022 Solomon Plumbing. For love of God, don't go near airplane kids. <laughs> Ford Mustang for um, RFK Racing, the Bristol Dirt Raced version. Comment, subscribe, and submit OBB. I'll see you guys next time on another diecast review. And um, yeah, for love of God, don't clog any toilets, y'all.